Hey, happy Sunday morning, print and play fans. This is Martin once again, and this morning I'm going to do a quick playthrough of a print and play uh, game called a game called Zombie Road. So, uh, and this one is dedicated to Mr. Mark Fadden, one of the admins of the print and play Facebook gaming group. So, uh, what's Zombie Road about? Well. Uh, this is a game where it's post-apocalyptic and the zombie apocalypse has happened. Think The Walking Dead. Now, um, for the solo version of this game, you have to choose three characters of a possible ten. Uh, characters in here like the soldier, the athlete, the gambler, the trucker, etc. And each one of these characters has a special ability or perk. For example, the trucker can give you a free fuel tank. The cop can upgrade uh, your weapon by one level, etc., etc. So, and each character can use those perks once per game, and then that's it, unless they find an item that allows them to refresh a perk. Okay, so you've got a team um, of characters, and you have to get from point A to point B through a whole bunch of uh, walkers and disasters and zombies and uh, all bunch of other crazy stuff that happens in the post-apocalypse, right? Um, and you have to get at least 200 miles. So when I said this game was a mashup, it's a mashup of The Walking Dead and the classic card game Milliborn, where you're just like trying to acquire miles and go on a road. So I'll see you at the table. All right, let's do a super quick setup of this game. So the first piece of setup is we choose three characters. You can choose your characters or you can choose them randomly. I've always done a random selection. So the top three looks like I'm gonna play the cop. Uh, the cop can upgrade a weapon one level. I'm going to uh, play the scientist. The scientist can downgrade a zombie one level. And the Recycler. Ooh, I've never played the Recycler before. What's your special perk? Take any card from the discard pile. That sounds useful. Okay, so we've got our three characters. I'm going to set aside the rest of the characters. They're not going to play in this game. And then we choose a total of uh, five cards from the deck here. And then we lay them out in a tableau. And then if we pick any zombies, then those go back in the deck. Because zombies can't come out at, at the very first. So let's see what we get. All right, we've got a horn. So that is going to use this to shuffle a drawn zombie back into the deck. Useful. Uh, we've got a walker, so that's going to go back in the deck, no problem. What else have we got? We have a chainsaw. That is a level 4 weapon that can kill... Uh, that's a powerful weapon that can kill zombies. What do we got? We got a crawler. You're going to go back in the deck, buddy. What else we got? Aha, we have a mile card. That's 5 miles of progress on our journey. We have a map. This is, uh, in a multiplayer game, you can use this to take another mile card from another player. In the uh, solo game, it basically is just 10 miles. I'm going to put that there. And then finally, we have another mile card. Okay, so what do we got? We got three mile cards, basically, one weapon, and a horn. Um, you know, it's not a bad start. It could be worse. Okay, so we've got that. And then I'm going to quickly shuffle those uh, zombies back into the deck here. And then we shall get started. So gameplay consists of, you take three actions per turn. And those actions can consist of, you can draw a card and lay it out in the tableau and then resolve what happens. Or you could uh, take one of your mile cards and then accumulate them in this area, meaning you made that progress, right? So let's play my first, my first turn here. Uh, first action, I'm gonna take my 10 miles and then I'm going to move 10 miles ahead in my journey. So my team has just moved 10 miles. Now remember, our goal is we have to make 200 miles. Um, my second action, I'm going to accumulate five more miles, so that's 15 miles. And for my third action, I'm going to draw a card. What is it? It's another five miles. Okay, great. great. So we're moving on to the second turn. And uh, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to accumulate these miles. So five more miles. Right? How, how far have we gone so far? We have gone 10, 15, 20 miles on our journey, on our 200 mile journey. So far, so good. Uh, nothing uh, has happened. We haven't found any walkers. Second action. What do we got? Aha. I spoke too soon. Now we have to go up against a crawler, uh, a level one zombie. So here's the deal. Um, we have to respond to this right now. And um, so I would use a weapon to do that, but that's a level four weapon. That's uh, kind of um, it's kind of a waste 
to use a level four weapon on a level one zombie, but I don't have any other weapons. But if I use that, then I have no more weapons. Um, in uh, My team has no more weapons. So what do I wanna do? I can use the chainsaw. I can also use the horn to uh, basically set aside, like distract the zombie and put him back into the deck. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use the horn. So use the horn for my second action. I'm sorry, that was my, uh, this is my third action. I'm gonna use the horn. Mm, no, 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 this is my second action. Use the horn and the zombie and they get discarded. All right, so I use the horn to distract the zombie. Great, for, for my third action, what do we got? Oh, great, a stalker, a level three zombie. Fortunately, we have a chainsaw, which is a level four weapon. So um, we can use that to uh, get rid of our stalker. So um, let's use that. That is our third action, third and final action for this round. We're gonna use the chainsaw on the stalker. Okay, you're, you're out, you're done. And uh, that was our second turn. Um, now we have some perks here, and I mentioned in my intro that these perks can be used once per game. So for example, take any card from the discard pile, recycler, uh, downgrade a zombie one level, and upgrade a weapon one level. So you know what? Um, since we have no weapons right now, uh, that's not a good place to be in. So I'm gonna choose to use the Recycler's perk and it doesn't choose an action or burn an action. I'm gonna take any card from the discard pile. So I'm gonna tap the card um, to indicate that I've used that perk and I can't reuse that perk. That's once per game per character to take the chainsaw from the discard pile and I'm gonna put it back into my tableau. By the way, you have a five card limit in your tableau. Uh, if you draw and that would give you more than five cards, you have to discard down to five cards. Okay, our third turn. Let's draw. First action. We have a 20 mile uh, distance of, of progress on our journey. So let's second action, let's actually uh, go 20 miles, boom. So now here we have, what do we have? We've got 40 miles of, uh, of progress here. And I've been forgetting about this map, which in the solo game doesn't uh, do anything except uh, give me 10 more miles. So for my second action, I'm gonna use those miles now. What do we got? We got 10, 30, 40. We're 50 miles into our journey. We have 150 more miles of progress to go. What's our status? We've got one chainsaw between our team of three and everybody's still alive. Okay, now turn four, first action. <clears throat> Aha, five miles of progress, very nice. Um, I'll hang on to that for now. Second action, I'll draw another card. 25 miles of progress, whoa, we are really booking it here. And um, third action, what do we got? We have, okay, all right. Uh, who shuffled this deck? Um, but we have uh, some miles to accumulate here. Um, we probably should accumulate them here in our next turn. So, uh, first action, gonna add 25 miles of progress there. Second action, five more miles. Third action, five more miles. Uh, we were at 50, now we're at like 85, I think, or something like that, or 90. Okay, we'll, we'll do the uh, math later. Uh, turn five, first action. <laughs> okay, uh, this is getting ridiculous, folks. Who, who shuffled this deck, seriously? Uh, second action, aha, okay, we have a runner. That is a level three zombie. Level three, and we have a level four weapon. So um, for our uh, second, or rather our uh, third action, we're going to use the chainsaw to uh, slice that runner in half and discard both of those things. So uh, that was turn well, five. We have absolutely no weapons once again, which is kind of par for the course here in the zombie apocalypse. Weapons are extremely rare. Um, but we could, we have a card that will allow us to move forward another 10 miles. So uh, here in this turn, I'm gonna choose to do that as my first action. Um, use that, place that. And so now we're at about a hundred mile mark. Um, and second action is, we'll draw a card. Whoa, look at that. The, that is a big, that is a big um, forward movement there. 50 miles, that, there's only one of those in the deck. Um, so we've gotten really lucky here. That was my second action. Um, you know what, nothing's stopping us. Third action, let's just, because um, the more, <laughs> there's no reason to hang on to this. Um, second action, we're going to use that. So we have 55 more miles to go on this 200 mile journey. Let's go, this is turn seven, I believe. First action. Okay, well, this is not good because we've just drawn a witch, which is a level one zombie. And, um, but 
our team has absolutely no weapons. Uh, and do we have any perks that are relevant? Our cop can upgrade a weapon one level, not relevant. Scientist can downgrade a zombie. Well, that zombie's already as low as it'll go. And our recycler's perk has already been used for this game. So, uh, the deal is, if you uh, draw a zombie and you have no weapon with which to kill it, then, according to the card, you die. Um, so, <clears throat> oh, by the way, I've been doing something wrong here. If you kill zombies, accumulate the miles for those zombies. So actually, I should not have been um, discarding zombies. I should have been, once I successfully killed them, uh, they should have gone to my um, distance pile here. So I'm actually even closer to my destination. So you know what? Um, let's resolve that right now. Um, we're at 145. This runner is an extra 10 miles here, so that's... 155 and this stalker is an extra 10 miles here so that's 165 and this crawler is another five miles here so that's 170 so we are actually only 30 miles shy of our goal here uh but uh we're in a bad spot right now the witch has been drawn and we have no weapons so one of our team has to die and for me, the choice is pretty obvious. Since the Recycler's perk has already been used for this game, even though that's a, it's an incredibly useful perk. Uh, Recycler, I'm sorry. Uh, the zombie uh, has attacked you and you are dying. So the Recycler will uh, leave the game. If this was a uh, multiplayer game, then um, you die. And um, I haven't really looked into the rules d that deeply yet, but I think that that means that the game ends for you. But in a uh, solo game, you have still two more characters, even if one dies, uh, to continue the game with. So as long as we get to our destination, the 200 mile mark, with um, at least one character alive, we will win the game. Uh, okay, so that witch, uh, that will not go into the uh, accumulated miles uh, pile because that uh, we didn't actually kill that witch. So that witch uh, took out one of our party, and uh, now we move on to turn number eight. Turn number eight, action one. Okay, good. Five more miles to go. Uh, second action. Well, mm, let's let's already put that that five miles on here. So what is that? That we are at the uh, thirty mile mark. Now we only need twenty five more miles to get to our destination. Second action. Ten miles. Okay. So this is getting down to the wire here. Uh, Ten miles. Uh, what is it? Twenty five. Now we need fifteen more miles to go. And Third action. Okay, that's it. Uh, we have made it. So we've actually accumulated 205 miles, which means the cop and the scientist have made it to the destination. And I believe uh, thematically the destination is the oasis, where uh, I'm going to say that there's another colony of uh, survivors, and um, you are relatively safe when you get to that destination. Well, there you have it. A quick playthrough of the game Zombie Road. Um, a print and my print and play copy of that and uh, this one turned out to be a super easy one because of the luck of the draw we uh, got uh, quite a bit of forward progress because of those mile cards but uh, I think my um, win win loss ratio here on this game so far is I have um, it's a it's a little over 50% so um, it is pretty easy with all the mile cards um, included in the deck. So what I've been doing to toggle the difficulty is, uh, like I mentioned, there is one 50 mile card and I've been removing that from the deck and then the game becomes a whole lot harder uh, because it becomes harder to accumulate miles, especially if you run out of uh, ammo. Also, uh, in this very short playthrough, we didn't have enough opportunity to get some disasters um, happening. There are persistent disaster cards that come out and um, really, really rain on your parade, make things a lot more difficult for our, disaster, for our uh, survivors. So um, that was my quick playthrough of uh, Zombie Road. And once again, this one's for you, Mark Fadden. We'll see you next time here on PNP Playthrough.